Hello guys, Fred here from Pro Tennis Radio. Hope you're well. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you my pre-tournament strategy selections for Wimbledon 2024, which kicks off on Monday the 1st of July. As usual, I'll be running my Platinum Trader service, so please do check it out and you can enroll and see past results at protennistrader.teachable.com. Of course, I'll put a link in the description box below. So, this is a strategy that you can adopt before any tennis tournament begins. Now the general idea is that when you back a player before the tournament starts, their price will shorten as they progress throughout the tournament and hence we can take profit along the way. But of course it's not as black and white as this, you simply can't randomly select any player and expect to make profit from them as they glide through each round of the tournament seamlessly. You need to have a clearly defined strategy with a risk managed approach and I've done a video a while back covering this, so please check out this video, which of course the link is in the description box below, but for the purposes of this video with my selections, I'll just recap on the criteria that I look for before telling you my selections. So I got a four point staking plan, so I'll only ever be risking a maximum of four points on this strategy. Now, if you want to know more about my banking strategies and risk management approach, then you can take my free introduction into tra tennis trading course. Now, essentially, my trading bank is made up into an overall of 100 points with a four points per match risk strategy. So with this strategy, we are adopting the same level of risk as we would do in a usual tennis trading match. Now, one of the reasons for this strict staking method is due to the fact that very often, you may have a number of match risks happening at the same time. And of course, you don't want to run out of your bank to fund your trades due to the funds being tied up elsewhere. So before we move on to how we are going to attribute this four point stake, let's take a look at some pricing. So essentially for this strategy, I classify players into different risk categories, and this will enable us to evaluate the level of risk and therefore calculate the stake for each player that we are backing. So there are four categories. There's category one, which are low risk players. Category two, which are medium risk players. Category three, high risk. And category, category four, very high risk. Now, of course, much like when we are placing any other types of trades, the level of risk is directly proportionate to the opposing level of reward. So with low risk, you get low reward. With high risk, you get high reward. Now, of course, this level of risk is directly relative to probability. So low risk, low reward, higher probability. Higher risk, higher reward, lower probability. And so this is the criteria that I use to classify players for the purpose of this trading strategy. So for category one, these are players priced under 5.0. Category two, a player's priced between 5.01 and 10.0. Category three, a player's price between 10.01 and 20.0. And then category four, which are our very high risk players. These are players priced above 20.01. So here is the staking plan for this strategy. Now, please remember, we are only risking an overall trade stake of four points. So this is how I attribute these four points. I'll place one point on a category one player. So this is a player priced under 5.0. I will then place another point on category two players. Now these will be split over one or two players, depending on other criteria. I will then split 1.5 points on category three players. Now this may be over two or three players. And then for the final half a point, I will place this half point on a category four player, and actually split between two to four players. Now these are very high risk, but of course, if it pays off, they are high reward. Okay, so that is the staking plan for this pre-tournament trading strategy. So here are my selections for Wimbledon 2024. Now these are my personal selections. As a disclaimer, this is not financial investment advice. And if you do follow my suggestions, of course, you do so at your own risk. So for my category one player, we're going with Alcaraz at the price of three. For my category two players, which are one point split, it's going to be split over Djokovic at 5.4 and Sviatek at 4.7. Category three players, 
which is one point, five points split this time over two players. It's going to be over Zverev at 16.5 and Ange de Boer at 16. Category four players, 0.5 points split over two players in this scenario. Medvedev at 24 and Jessica Pakula at 34. Please be aware that these players are not simply pulled out of a hat. There is a great degree of analysis that goes into selecting these players, including recent form, past performance, in-play stats, and of course, their records on grass. Now, of course, with this strategy, some selections are highly influenced by their prices, but there's a lot more behind the scenes that goes on with choosing these selections. Now, please remember that you do need to have a strategy for when you are going to start locking in profit on these selections as the tournament progresses. This is not a set and leave strategy in the hope that one of the selections will win the tournament. You're looking to lock in profit as the tournament progresses. And also keep an eye on who your players could potentially face in the next round, as you may find that a player whose price is shortened may then drift if they're suddenly facing a much higher ranked player in the next round or a player that's in particularly strong form. Now, of course, feel free to follow my selections but always, this is at your own risk, and I accept no responsibility for any losses incurred. I hope you enjoy Wimbledon as much as I will, and if you've taken my course already and have not yet signed up to Wimbledon Platinum Traders, you can do so by following the link in the description box below, which is protennistrader.teachable.com. Now please note that enrolment closes on Sunday the 30th of June in anticipation of the tournament starting on the 1st of July. In the meantime, have a great tournament and hopefully see you in Platinum Traders. Now, if you found this video useful, then please do check out my YouTube channel for loads more videos and subscribe to be notified of when I upload new videos. And if you'd like to become a successful tennis trader, then you can start your journey by enrolling on my free video course, An Introduction into Tennis Trading at protennistrader.com. And you can also grab a free copy of my ebook, Tennis Trading, The Ultimate Guide to Getting Started. I'll see you soon.